Angry bird, I'm maybe? Not sure. I can't tell. Is that Anthony Lauer or is that just an angry bird? <laughs> I'm totally confused. Hey, you know him better than I do, so I don't All know right. if the Angry Bird hat is, is the industry standard around so here. So Anthony Lowry is to the right of your screen with blue and red flash, Steven to the left with Populate. So it looks like Anthony must have won game one because Steven was on the game on the play for game three. Yeah. So So we're gonna start off here with I think that's a Or vice that's, versa. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. A, that's a promotional call to Kong play. Yeah, right I there. actually got one uh, from last week. I went to Friday Night Magic and I I did a good enough record to get my call to Conclave. Congratulations. Yeah, very proud of you. Thank you. So, so all the Conclave's coming across three here with the Centaur token. And we'll see if Anthony... All right, so he's getting the Snapcaster. Snap right, so just play that and pass the turn back. Here's the planes and passes back. This is kind of interesting. Why just throw out the Snapcaster? I don't know. Both players own six cards here from Mulligans. Yeah, I mean, if you Mulligan, you want to hold your Snapcaster Mage to get the card back. To, to kind of un-Mulligan. So now we're going to see... Oh, turn there it is, bird. turn bird. So. I think we're seeing the turn half here. And wow, and that's just a blowout. And so after that resolves, as you guys do see it, it becomes an 0-1. That blocks, it gets plus 2, plus 2, depending on what the time the Selesnia charm. Yeah, okay, so that yeah. takes care of that. And just pass the I, turn I, back. Oh, okay, I think Anthony thought that because of turn, it would lose all its ability. I, I'm not really sure, just, yeah, Anthony just got blown out. Yeah, so, I mean, he makes it 0-1, he blocks, and then he gets less, and then Celestian Charm pumps it. Yeah, after I, he blocks, and so. the pump still happens. Yeah. So now here's a Restoration Angel. Restoration Angel, excuse me. So, it looks like Steve is going to lose his token here, but Anthony still, I think, is in a much worse spot. I mean, I see, I see at least one, there's another copy of Anthony yeah. in his hand, so. There's a 5-5 five, five Trampler that Steven's going to catch when Anthony's tapped out. Doesn't want to run into any counter magic that Anthony does have, which again, he doesn't have a ton of, but he does have two Dissipates and a Syncopate to take care of that. Yeah, and like you were, just, like you were saying, I think Anthony does have a Supreme Verdict, has a Howl Fountain in his hand. This is, I don't, I, I'm still kind of confused. Maybe they're worried about the time. You know, maybe they think they have less time than they really, than they really do. They're certainly playing in a very, in a very fast yeah, pace. Yeah, they are. That's the one thing I noticed. They're just going back and forth. So Anthony just took two damage from the uh, Hollow Fountain. Maybe that's kind of signifying a Sphinx for two. So here comes the Edward Worm token. Here's the Snapcaster Mage. Looks like this is going to target turns. So this is going to make this an 0-1 again. Snapcaster Mage gets in front. I think Snapcaster Mage would live. Yeah, I think that Snapcaster Mage should live. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. And what do you think Steve's going to do here? I think he's going to get down that Tristani? It looks like a Tristani. Yeah, there's just on his hand. I, I want to establish that if I'm Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Gaining life right now will be, you know, really key to helping him not not lose the game. Yeah. So. I just want to get that two five established in play. You know, get that card out there. Stops the Snapcaster Mage from attacking. As here comes Restoration Angel in the air. Yeah. Tristani, a legend from Return to Ravnica. Yeah. Coming up on the screen momentarily for you guys, and with I mean, with Admin of the Worm too, as you're going to see at Planes here. Steven's going to pass the turn back. You know, he can he can now cast the Advent of the Worm and populate it, gain yeah. 10 life, and just have, like, a very threatening board presence immediately. And here's a Sphinx of Revelation for three from Anthony. So Steven has the opportunity to pull the trigger on this while the shields are down. Yeah, I think he definitely should right now. He should make the 5-5, five five, gain 5 life, populate, gain another 5 life. So Steven's going to go up to 24 life, I believe. And this basically forces Anthony right now to either draw into some pre verdict or already have it. Ooh, why, why would Steven not populate right now? You don't want Anthony to untap. You want to populate immediately. Yeah. Because what happens with populate, you activate your Stani, but if the token is no longer there, or if none of your tokens are there, you don't you, you don't get anything out of the deal. So Steven's playing a little bit risky here. Yeah. Right, so Tristani's going to get in front of the Snapcaster Mage, and if Snapcaster Mage is attacking, that really signifies just one thing, Supreme Verdict. Yeah. Verdict. But so Steven should still... Should still get the five life. Yeah. But he does not activate Ooh, the wow. Tristani, so he misses out on five life there for free. Yeah. So Steven just, draws a card. I think it was just a land, it looked like. It looked like a plays he drew. Yeah. So, right now it looks like Anthony is in much better shape right here. Either he has another Supreme Verdict in his deck, or the game will go long enough where he might draw a second one or draw another Snapcaster Mage and just close out the game that way. You see Anthony's hand right now, he has a Sacred Foundry, and he's going to play Untapped. Ooh. He has a clone in his hand right now. And, oh, he does have a Snapcaster as well. Yep. Yeah, I think playing Snapcaster Mage and then casting a Sphinx of Revelation for three. Oh, wow. Jeez. Miracle and Treat the Angels? 
Centric Angels off the top for Steven. This is going to be a miracle for one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's really good, but you know, Anthony does have another Snapcaster, so you might have to change his plan if he doesn't have another Supreme Verdict. His plan might not just have to be Snapcaster or Supreme Verdict. Verdict yeah. yeah. So we'll see. You know what Anthony could do? Because if he does it the clone, he could go Snapcaster, Flashback Space Revelation, draw some cards, okay. untap, play clone on a Snapcaster, and then Snapcaster back a Supreme Verdict. Come on, these blue cards are too good, dude. Yeah, they really are. These blue cards are ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, that was Steven's best possible draw right there, and he's still way behind. Yeah. Steven's going to need to have, like, running Intro the Angels to, to kind of have a shot this game. Well, he's got one more. He only has two? Yeah, he got two. All right, so there. he needs a second one. It's not impossible. All right, so here you're going to see Snapcaster Mage, and there's the Sphinx and Rep for three. So yep. This is what we thought would happen. Exactly. Three life, three cards. Hollow Fountain and Clifftop Retreat among them. Anthony going to untap. He's going to draw. He draws a Glacial Fortress in with the Snapcaster Mage. I guess this means he just has a, yeah. a bird in his hand already. Yeah, either. Yeah. Yeah. Because if he only had the clone, he would have had to clone the Snapcaster. Yep. And so there's, there's a verdict. verdict. Take care of everything. All right. So let's see if Stephen can miracle another and treat the angels. Which, if he does, Anthony is out of answers to. It's like he drew a Wayfaring Temple for the turn. Yep. All right. So sometimes he gets big. Wayfaring Templar starts off as a star star, and it pretty much counts the number of creatures you have on the battlefield. So and one card that can take care of that is Renounce the Days, yep. which just took care of it right now. Yeah, I'm really excited. So far, we've been seeing a lot of new cards from Dragon Days. Yeah. yeah I mean, this doesn't, come, this doesn't come as much of a surprise as we're going to see Augur of Bolas here. Three cards, Turn and Burn, Sink of Fate, and a Sulfur Falls. Renounce the Guilds, when we, were, when we were talking about cards at the top, one of the ones I actually forgot, um, even though it's a super efficient removal spell, uh, is going to have a huge impact in this format, just because there are so many cards from Dragon's Maze that are going to have an impact on standard. So I think he's just drawing a rookout defense. Yep. Yeah. So Steve is playing out his lands because of the chance that he does uh, Miracle and other Treat the Angels. Most of the time, you would want to try to maybe bluff, hold up some spells, hold up some lands. But here, Steve just plays out his lands because of the Treat the Angels. It looks like Anthony drew a Sphinx of Revelation yeah. for the turn here. So, I mean, this is this is part of what makes Blood Red Flash a good deck, right? Like, you take care of their threats. Um, you know, over and over and again, you, re you refill with Revelation and you just bury them that way, but you actually have closing speed, whereas the Esper deck has a hard time kind of closing the game out as Steven does draw an Intangible Virtue. There's your Revelation for a whole bunch. It's, it's going to be for eight. eight. Yeah. And as you can see, that's the problem with a green-white token-based deck. If you only draw the tokens and not the Intangible Virtue, if you only draw the Intangible Virtue and the tokens, you're kind of left at a, uh, a poor spot. Yep. So now you're going to see Augur of Bulls come across here after, after Anthony just draw a total of nine cards, eight from Revelation, one for his draw step. He's going to play a Sacred Foundry. There will be have, there will have to be probably some discarding that takes place here, but as he takes his turn here, he can craft out exactly what he wants to do over the course of this turn as he starts with an Augur of Bolas, finds a Pillar of Flame, and just basically craft his hand to get in an unbeatable position. Yeah, definitely. I, I really can't see Steven drawing anything here to get him out of this. Yeah. Anthony with counter spells in his hand, with removal, with Azuri's Charm, Dramatic Rescue. So this is kind of just Steven going through the motions. Probably knows he's gonna he's gonna lose this match and start off the tournament 0-1. Not where you want to be in a 10-round tournament. Lots of times when you start off 0-1, you probably have to 9-0 to make it. So Steven will have his work cut out for him. But if he doesn't make the top eight, you know what? He could come top 32 and win prize. Yeah. He could come top 64 and win prize. I mean, back against the wall, certainly, but. It has been done before. Yeah. It will be done again. Yeah, definitely. All right. So, Steven will untap right now. And, I mean, Steven's probably hoping he miracles and treat the angel. Maybe draws one of his big creatures. But instead, he just draws a temple garden. And passes the turn. So, Anthony decides to cycle on Exorius Charm. Just give him a little bit deeper into his deck. And he's probably going to flash back this thing twice as well. Now, I know I've been talking to a couple of my friends, and they usually do a split of four Azorius Charm and two Think Twice, but in a control matchups or mid-range matchups, you really want Think Twice over Azorius Charm, because lots of times Azorius Charm is only a cycler. Very rarely are you going to gain life. Very rarely are you, you going to put a creature on top of your opponent's deck. Yep. Most of the time, if you see Azorius Charm being played, it's the cycle. Yep. So why not play Think Twice? Yeah. Yeah. Think Twice just builds that, as you're going to see a couple burn spells here, two Pillar of Flames. 
turn, turn and turn. Turn and turn. Yeah, just, yeah, just, just going to the head. He's throwing all these cards out of his hand to finish this one off with. So shows him these red cards. Shows him what looks to be a game. So Anthony Lowry is going to win this match two games to one over Steven Sox in his Populate deck. And Angry Bird looks to be victorious yeah. here. Is Anthony playing any birds? I don't think he's playing any birds. So. Are there birds in the format? He's not playing any birds, let alone any angry ones. Yeah. So, there are some birds to be populated, of course. 